So, just another quick video based on a question I got on the Facebook uh, page. If you could do a tear scratch with the scratch DNA feature. And I think you kind of can. Uh, I'm no expert on the scratch techniques by any means. I mainly do a few baby scratches when DJing, if any. So, uh, but as I understand, the test uh, scratch technique is a technique where you have a long scratch movement and then two short scratch movements to bring you back to start. So, uh, that can also be done in the opposite uh, way. So, two short and then a long, but in this video, we'll do a long and two shorts. That can be done in two fields, really, so you can, or two time signatures. So you can do it in four, uh, four, where you spend twice as much time on the long scratch as you do on the two short scratches. Or it can be do, done in uh, three, four, or like a triplet field, where you spend the same amount of time on each scratch, uh, each part of the scratch, and then uh, you get like this kind of triplet field. So even though you're moving your hands twice as much, it, it won't take longer than the two shorter ones. So to kind of illustrate what I mean by this, I've uh, attached a very small TDA to go to touch controller, and I'm gonna be trying to scratch on that. So I'll scratch on top of, the, of this sound. So very, very common scratch sound. So if I do that in a four by four time, uh, to try to do a tear, it would be something that this. And then if I try move back a little bit, and I'll try to do it in a three by uh, four way, in a triple kind of field, it'll be something like this. So those are the kind of uh, tear scratches that we're trying to emulate here uh, in this video. So how uh, have I tried to do that? Well, first I've tried to map it to the to the custom buttons up here, the user buttons. So here I have a. Uh, a scratch DNA uh, script. So what's in here? Well, basically, uh, I try to go all the way from A to G is the starting point uh, in one uh, sweep motion, continuous motion. And then I do a second small G to uh, do a little pause without moving my hands because the lower letters means don't do any sound output. And then I go back in two steps. So first go to D and then a pause and A and then a pause. And then I repeat all of it, so uh, it's a bit longer, so it's easier to hear. So if I, uh, I try to play that on the top of, uh, on top of the, uh, the, the scratch sound out here, it will be something like, like this. And uh, that's kind of slow, so you could also do it twice as fast. So in here I have uh, simply put it in the same script twice as many times. So and only have what still had only have one dot, so it's only two beats, and uh, then it sounds something like this. Like that. So that's a, a four by four feel. Um, a little bit machine like, but maybe usable. So I've tried to do a pad page over here uh, by doing a variations of these, uh, so it can be played on the pad page. So if I look in here, you can see on the first pad here, I have uh, the first edition of the 4-4 scratch. So you can see that's basically the same as the first one we just had. So if I try to play it here, it'll be the same, like this. Like that. Then I've done a, a second variation, where I go much further. So it goes all the way through E, E through I to M, and then back to G to A, and again do it twice. This is very fast. Maybe not really usable, but let's see what it sounds like. Like that. You can even hear it has a little bit of an artifact in there somewhere. So uh, the third one here, uh, I've kind of messed it up a little bit. So instead of doing it perfectly, so you can little hear it's a computer, um, it's messed up a little bit, so you can see it's not really the same letters in both the dimensions, and uh, it doesn't do the perfect steps back and stuff like that. So in my ears, it sounds a little bit more like a person and not so much like a computer, like this. So the sec especially the second part is a little bit messed up, so a little bit more human-like. And then the fourth one here is a combo. So I start out by a regular baby scratch, and then I go into one of uh, these four by four uh, 
fast scratches, which is also a little bit messed up, like this. So, uh, that sounds something like this. So maybe usable. And then there are the 3-4 field of 3-4 time signature. So, how do you do that? Well, that's actually probably even simpler. Then you just have six letters because it's a triplet field. So you can only have six letters within each dot. So uh, I go all the way to G uh, in one step. And then I go halfway back to D and then all the way back to A. So you get and uh, with the equal amount of letters. So it, it should be the equal amount of time between each, even though the move from A to G is of course much further than the other ones. And again, I do it twice. So you can uh, better hear what I mean. So that'll be something like this. So as you can hear in tempo, it's between the two tempos we just listen to because it's a triplet feel. And you can of course also do that twice as fast if you want to. So I've done that over here. Basically the same, just done twice. And this makes you sound very much like a machine or a computer, if you will, if I play that. There's no human on the face of the earth that can do that by moving their hands so perfectly. So that might not really be usable. So if I go into the, the pad again, pad page here, see what have I done here on the, on the second uh, line here. So these pads down here. Well, the first one is the slow one. So that's the same as we just heard. And that is in, in, uh, in perfect time, if you will. So that's something like this. Like that. And then on the fast one, the next one, I actually already messed it up a little bit. So you can see uh, it goes to, to D, to C, to B, and then it goes also to E. And then uh, because of the B, it didn't really get all the way back and stuff like that. That's all of it is to try to make it sound less like a computer and more like a human being. So if I play that over here, It maybe sound a little bit less like a computer and more like a human being. So if I compare it to the button one like this, this sound, this one down here, in my opinion, sounds a little bit more. It would be possible to do for human, even though it's still pretty fast. Then I've uh, done a third button uh, in the second row, and that's a. Uh, a combination, so first a slow one, and then a little bit messed up one uh, of the, uh, the fast ones, so then it sounds something like this. And then finally, I've done a combination of the of the 4x4 four four one and the 3-4 time one, and uh, then you get something like this. So that's basically my take on how you can maybe do tear scratches using the, the scratch DNA feature. And of course, if you want to do the slow ones, and you want to do the fast ones, it's probably also going to depend on the tempo of the song. So the tempo of uh, of how fast these things execute. So if it's a pretty fast song, this is a very slow one. This is just down uh, around 90 BPMs. So if it's like 110 BPMs, you should probably only do the slow ones. So it'll sound very insane. Um, so, uh, if you try to play these on top of a beat, uh, it'll be something like this. And the second one. And the third one, a little bit messed up one. Like that. And the one where it's a combination. Uh, with a uh, baby scratch, it would be something like this on top of a beat. And then there are the th three, four time ones. So that'll be something like this for the slow one. And for the fast one, it'll be something like this. And then for the combination, And finally, for the one where it's a combination of the 4 4 1 and the 3 4 time field one. So, something like this. Like that. So, of course, uh, all the scripts and a link to uh, a, uh, this pad page uh, will be in the video description. So, you can try this yourself if you want to. 
And uh, well, it may be good enough to use as a test scratch, I'm not quite sure, but you can try yourself and make up your own mind.